Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nate McAllister. I want to show you a new tool that integrates really well with Storefront Soccer UK and US. It's called Price Checker 2. Uh, this is Price Checker 2.0. It is a uh, desktop application. You ins install it on your PC or Mac. I'm running it on a Mac. You hook it up right here with your... Uh, I don't, I'm not going to show you that, but these, I've got my uh, associate keys and uh, MWS information in here. So once we get to that point and I'm all set up, I can run a file. So let me show you what I do when it comes to running storefront stalker uh, files. This is, you can upload any type of file, but I'm, I'm wanting to show you this mostly for the storefront stalker side of it. So let's go to Amazon. Let's find some poor soul to uh, Okay, so I found this company, uh, Nickerson. So I'm going to run a scan. And this is on Amazon US again, by the way. So we'll get all ASINs from, uh, from the seller. It's going to be kind of a big one. It's going to be 97 pages, which is fine. Um, you can run as big of a file as you want in price checker too. And as you know, Storefront Stalker supports up to 100 pages right now and 2,400 ASINs. So let's let that load. Once it's done, you can select either, either or. You can select the uh, download with two columns like you would with OA X-Ray, or you can do the full CSV. It doesn't matter. Okay, so since we did it with just those two, actually, I'm going to do the full one too as well just to show you. Okay, so now we can come back here, select the input, and remember it's a CSV, so this was the first, the, that's the second one we ran with more data, this is the first one. Now this one, I'm going to go with the smaller one actually, just because it has, it's just, I don't, it's, we're going to pull that data anyway uh, in price checker too. So uh, column A is your ASIN. And the price is column B, right there. Packaging, um, no. Costs are in US dollars. Let's keep this average shipping weight, 30 cents per pound. Um, and then I can actually change the output file and I can rename it. Let's say, uh, Nickerson. Okay. So now that I've got my data in there, I'm going to, let's see right here, 2,212 records found. That should match the number here. get that one extra for the um, header okay but now it's running and it will tell you right here uh, your live data is telling you how long it takes how many uh, records are in the file how many are left how many non blanks matches not found items completed so it takes it depends how big the file is uh, and it also depends on your internet connection so we'll come back to this here shortly and then I'll show you down here how long it actually takes. Right now it's telling me it's gonna take between 13 and 15 minutes. Okay, and here is what we get when you run Storefront Stalker through Price Checker 2. It brings you a lot of data. It can be overwhelming at first when you look at it. Uh, a couple of things to note. Inside Price Checker 2, if we want, we can come into the settings and we can change what we see here and what it outputs and we can even move them around. So let's say you don't want to see uh, Amazon UPC, you can erase that. Um, let's say you want to see if Amazon's a seller 
up front. You can bring that up here to the top. Just stuff like that. So you can make this spreadsheet as simple or as complicated as you want it to be. That's one of the things I really like about this is that you can really personalize it a lot. So this, let's go through the, the most basic uh, uh, filters here and what I recommend you do. Okay, so we don't have our costs in here. What you'll do is you can give this to a, to a VA to start researching and trying to find some of these products and seeing what you can what you can get them at, entering in your costs and seeing what type of profits you could come out with. One of the cool things that this does is it gives you, after calculating the fees uh, and shipping and all of that, it lets you know columns I, J, and K for me here. This says the max cost for 30% ROI. So if I can find this product for $30 and 10 cents, I can assumably get it, get the 30% uh, ROI at current conditions, all things being equal. And then the next one is 50% and this one's 100. Okay, so that's something that I really do like. I have ASIN in here twice. Go ahead and just hide that. Um, I want to keep my links there. Amazon title. I like to have that. I like to see what I'm looking at. That's a multi pack. Hide that. And it shows here your buy box price, net profit, best seller rank. So if you want, you can actually filter from best seller rank. You can do uh, ascending. So it's going to show you the, well, then you got to remember it's relative to uh, category, right? But this will show you the, uh, the highest sales ranks total. And then if you want to go even further, let's say you only want to see sports, you can come over here and then select sports. Okay, so now, now you've got everything filtered um, from best sales rank to lowest, and you only are going to see the sports. And okay, now let's say you want to do that and you only want to see uh, where the uh, merchant fulfilled sellers have the buy box. So this is kind of an interesting one. I like this one. Because you can come in here with FBA and, uh, and perhaps get the buy box here really quickly. So right now what you're seeing is only sellers um, that are FBM. I'm sorry, only sellers that are only products that the buy box is owned by an, uh, a merchant. And now if I want, I can even filter it further. So here's your estimated sales per month, estimated share of sales per month. And once you have your cost, then it will show you your uh, estimated buying cost per month if you're going to keep that share of the buy box. So let's just to show you the cost. Let's say that we do get this product for, let's get, we get it for 12 dollars a unit and you can always you can add your own data there so it's actually going to show us um, our uh, our actual profits now it'll show you your estimated buying cost per month I only put it for this one right here in row two but if you were to to sell up you would need to spend twenty six thousand dollars five hundred and sixty eight cents but on that, you would be getting about eighteen thousand dollars and four hundred sixty-eight, or eighteen thousand four hundred sixty-eight dollars and fifty-two cents in profit. So that's kind of a cool thing. It lets you know anticipated uh, velocity and how many you're going to need to keep in stock if your goal is to keep that buy box and uh, to sell at, at an optimal level and never run out of stock. Okay. So I hope you guys see the potential here. Um, it also shows here if it's hazmat <laughs> and. So there's just a ton of different things you guys can do with it. I hope that you're excited about it. Uh, I hope you get creative with it and, and make it your own. Now this is just really a great way to, uh, to, to look at your storefront stocker products. Uh, it's $49 a month, totally worth it. Go ahead and try out the free, uh, the free trial and let me know if you have any questions about it and I'll be happy to, uh, to answer them for you. But again guys, thank you so much. Uh, for buying storefront stalker oh and keep in mind this works exactly the same with amazon uk so you can sort from amazon uk you can change the currencies to uh, euros or to any other currency you want 
uh, and, and you'll have those conversion rates correct. So that's awesome. Um, other than that, guys, thank you again for purchasing, I, and I hope that you uh, give this a try. So thank you, and have a good one.